Hi guys, today we're gonna make a, what's called a topsy-turvy cake. Uh, we saw this on the Netflix Nailed It show and uh, it seems like a, a fun cake to try to make. Um, this is gonna be for my girlfriend's birthday. It's going to be chocolate, uh, funfetti, because we like Jersey Shore as well. And you can't have a cake um, on Nailed It without Rice Krispie squares. Uh, everyone screws up and they at the last minute scramble put together some Rice Krispies to try to make the cake So I'm gonna add this to the cake as well um, The plus side to this is if it turns out great Excellent, and if it's a failure well, it's a nailed it cake. So that'll be perfect So now I have um, two cakes already baked. I have three more in the oven and now I'm mixing up the funfetti So these three cakes are done. I'm gonna pull those out, let them cool. So I didn't realize when I started this that I have zero round cake pans. Thought I did. So the first two cakes I did a square cake pan and the rest I'm just using these like Tupperware, glass Tupperware containers. So I'm gonna keep going with that, which is nice because they have different sizes, which is what I need anyway. So no need to go out and buy fancy cake pans for this one cake that I'm making. I really don't make a whole lot of cake. And when I do, it's usually just a plain rectangle. Now, here's a good example of mistakes they make on the show, nailed it, is overfilling their cake pans. So I'm going to stop about there. Yeah, I'm probably putting too much. Let's stop while we're ahead. All right, so that should be fine. Let's throw these in the oven and uh, see how they turn. Okay, so while those cakes are baking, I'm down in the workshop here and I'm going to make up a little uh, platform for these. Because on the show, people, uh, they use either the, the cardboards or nothing at all and the cakes fall over. I'm gonna make sure mine doesn't fall over. So I've got some dowel here, got some uh, quarter inch plywood that I cut up. Now I'm just gonna wrap this up with saran wrap so that it's still food safe. Um, and now I'm gonna make a little bit of a support to hold this together so I'm not embarrassed when it just topples over. Okay, so I took the uh, dowel here and I just made a little uh, recessed area so that it should fit in here snugly and not slide any deeper. And now I'll do the same on this one here at whatever angle I need and uh, it should be good. Alright, so I did the same thing with the uh, smaller rod here and uh, I'm going to cut that down as well. I cut the big one down so that's going to need another chamfer here on the top. Um, again, the professionals are probably cringing on how I'm doing this but I do it the only way I know how. All right, so that should be stable enough to hold a cake. We'll see anyway. And then the Rice Krispies will be on top. I don't think they need anything other than maybe toothpicks or whatever to hold them in. So let's give that a try. Okay, so I've got all my pieces wrapped in saran wrap here. So they're uh, food safe. And now I'm going to, because I cheated and, and put the base slanted, usually you have the cake built up to have a slant, but I cheated. I built the slant right into the wood. I'm going to use the Rice Krispies to, to surround that and fill in that gap. And I'm too lazy to make some, so I just bought these pre-packaged ones. I'll snack on those once the cake is eaten.
Okay, so I trimmed down my dowel and now it fits a lot better. And I'm just waiting for the next batch of cakes to cool and we'll stack those on top. Maybe I'll start putting some frosting on while I wait. Okay, so this time I realized earlier I had a, a lot of trouble icing it because there's a big gap between the cake layers and I realized I forgot to cut the tops off of the cakes and make them flatter so I did that this time. So it should be a lot easier to ice. Much smaller gap. Oh, I'm going to leave it round just because that top crust of the cake is going to make it easier to put the icing on. So now you can see this guy is tilted but it's going to be flat once it's on the cake. So that should be good like that. Now let's throw some icing between these layers. Okay, the top little cake is going to be funfetti, so I'm going to use the rest of the chocolate I have here in between the layers. Okay, so this guy is leaning pretty good, so I'm gonna have to put a dowel or something to hold him. Kind of slid off the board earlier. Well, here it is all finished. What do you think? Did I nail it? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching.